Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sotep and I'm a graffiti artist from the UK. And in today's video, I want to show you guys at home how you can draw skulls. I had one previously that was really basic and really simple, but for this one I want to dive in a lot more deeper and share all the secrets I have throughout the years of creating and share them with you guys. So, let's wait no longer and get right into it. What is good everyone? So today I'm going to show you how to draw really stylized skulls, simple and easy, so that you can hammer them at home and just get them down perfectly. With everything, which I'm sure you've heard a thousand times, we're going to start off with a simple shape first. And for this one, we start off with a circle. I'm sorry that I have to repeat this to you, like it's a year seven art class, but there's a reason why it is repeated so much. Once the basic shape is in place, we're now going to draw a cross line. So first we're going to start drawing straight down. We're going to draw an angle because we're having this skull facing to the left, like so. And then we're going to put another line across bend wise. This gives us a way better perspective of the three dimensional shape of the skull. Like if you put it in a cube, you can see how it bends. So once that's in place, we're using the principle of the three C's. And this is two eye sockets and a nose. So C1 sits here on this quadrant so if we go one, two, three, four, quadrant two, it sits just above this line here. And the C can be jagged, it can be round, it's entirely up to you, you have freedom. When I show these tutorials, please feel free to express your own kind of way you want to go. I'm just giving you a rough outline of principles I use to break down things to make them simple for me. But honestly, you are your own creative genius and follow your own instinct of where you want to take the shapes. Because this is, see, it's further back, it's a little bit more squished than this one. So, as you can see, this C concaves in. And now you have two basic eyes. Do not be afraid to leave messy lines. In fact, sometimes I like to pit them in on purpose, like this. Didn't exist, but then later on, I'll show you now actually. I can then outline it, like so. It's stylized now, it's unique. No other skull will have this sort of line work because I'm actually using my mistakes to my advantage. The same way in life, you will take your shortcomings, your mistakes, and turn them into power um, by figuring out how to do so. And once you know how to do so, well, wow, it's a beautiful thing. The third C is the nose. Here, this sits just angled off from here to there. So if you draw a triangle like this, this gives you the top bridge of the nose, and the third C can come down. Like this. Within the C as well, I like to exaggerate the nose bone bit coming out because a bit more illustration wise, it won't do that like in real life, but I like to accentuate that as it gives more of sort of sharpness coming out. Now here, I like to follow this line across and then I can keep the whole of this back because it's behind, behind the nose in the shadow. Now I have this triangle in place, I get a good indication of where the bridge of the nose is gonna go. So here I round it off a little bit Keep the lines loose, look at this, I'm not really aiming perfectly. Keep myself loose, remember that tomorrow I'll draw a better skull than I did today, and there's no pressure when you create, you just gotta enjoy and push the lines where you feel comfortable to do so. Next, I bring the bridge and then I follow the third C's line, like this. And now this is setting me up, it's setting me up perfectly for what's to come now, and that is to pull the front teeth down, just like that. I'm going to leave that there for now because I'm going to work on the left cheekbone and that's just a curved line coming out like so. But now I come to this point, instead of going directly upwards, which will give you this, I'm going to come out a little bit and swing it back in. So you're pulling that line, pull out and swing it back in. And now here okay, I come back out again a little bit and now where I had this line, I'm following over for the top eyebrow. Just like the Nike swish, Ooh -wee. you throw it in, you shade down, and now you start to see how the complexity is coming together. A little cool indication is from here to here to separate this into two sections, left section, right section. You can actually draw a line. I do that with all my skulls. Like that, this is an indication line. So okay, there's a few teeth here, which are these small droplet shapes, which consists of this, next to each other, maybe a gum, and keep going. These little gems coming down like happy little raindrops. One, two, another one. And what you're trying to do is umbrella this shape in. So when you have that center line, I'm using that to pull it in a little bit 
and then come out and then continue draw. Just like this, keep following those shapes. You can put in loads of these shapes, exaggerate the shape, that's entirely up to you and how you stylize your characters. So if you do decide to go crazy and do your own thing, please send it to me on Instagram. I would love just to see how you guys managed to take this tutorial and made it your own because you've got some talent, I know there's some talented people out there who follow me. For this, we're looking to aim the same as this for the cheekbone. So where it comes in, if you imagine another triangle, you're pulling it out again. You want to follow this. And here is a little sneaky trick. Pull this line in a little bit, like this. Pull it in, and then you can use this to step down. So here, about the centre of the eye, put a little step in, and then curve the line in. Just like this. Don't be afraid to do the exact same. Bend the shapes, play around with it, and just have a lot of fun creating. Once that's in place, we're now looking to pull it back. You see where I had this cube line in? Perspective has now shifted. And what do I mean by that? I mean everything that was here at this point is being pushed back. So where that line was, this line's the same. And as you get better, you learn to bend this perspective and curve it, and you can have really dynamic shapes. But for now, I'm just gonna show you this next level thing. I don't wanna put too much information into you. Um, and we'll just grow together that way. Here is another key point. Here you'll see through the bottom of the skull, you put it in place, it makes you look like you've really studied. Even though um, you may have just watched the tutorial, that exists there. Like so. And now with the base shape, you can sort of see where you want your skull to go. This is why it's so good to have shapes in place because you can use them as guidance. I'm here, I'm just gonna actually add a few little lines. Um, and then I'm gonna follow this to a point and I just want it to be a bit smaller than the original circle we put in place. Here. And look what happens again when we come up to the perspective lines. We can pull the shape back. Just like so. Now he's looking like he's got that beautiful egg-shaped head. Egbert. Egbert the skull. Now we pull this down. Throw it back like you're in a nightclub. Boop. Straight up and adjust from there. Boom. Now that is the foundations of how to do a skull. Now it's entirely up to you to darken up the areas you want to keep. Here, I'll just rub it out so you guys can get a clearer view of what I'm talking about and make some adjustments. Here you might go, oh, that's not flowing enough. So you can just get rid of that. But because you had the principles in place, you know what to do to change it. Boom. That's a lot better. That's principle one. Today, I'm not just gonna show you how to do it and sit back and go, off you go, off you trot. I'm gonna go through it again and again and again. So if you are willing to sit with me and work together and we can just fill this up, at the end of it, you are gonna know skulls like the back of your hand, I promise. But for now, I'm gonna take this pencil, I'm gonna take it and darken up all the areas I wanna keep. And you want to do the exact same. Sketching is the, the rough play. You wanna treat it like you're just throwing it all down, but now it gets a little bit more serious and gonna darken up the bits I wanna keep. And once you darken it up, you'll see what you have. So for now, I time lapse it, and then you get yourself ready and we'll jump straight onto skull number. Sotap has not got your back because this is what you can create with the basic principles of starting off with a base shape and then throwing down the three C's. Now, what would happen if you wanted something way more stylized? Now, how would you achieve that? To do that, it's so simple. We change the base shape. Here we started off with the circle, if you remember. Let's see what happens when we change that to something like a square. And let's just, for reference sake, do it this way. And don't worry, I'm not just gonna be one of those people that tell you something and leave you to it. We're gonna go through it together. That way, we can both push it and see how far we can take the skull drawings we're doing today. So like, I, like I'm saying, the base shape. Start with this. Here I'm gonna tuck them a little bit underneath, it doesn't matter. Rectangle shape. Now let's draw the same thing, we did exactly the, the same. So this time, we'll have the crosshairs and have them facing this way. Imagine it's in a box, the three C's, once again. But what if we stretch the C's? Instead of having that, what if we go like this? Big C, 
And that looks like a graffiti C. So I know a lot of you graffiti a lot right there, like, like this content. There you go, you got yourself a new C for your name. And the same goes again for the other side. It's in perspective, it's gonna be smaller, like so. Keep your lines loose and have fun with it. Start thinking about what other shapes you can put in place. And we're gonna keep this square shape for the a shape of the skull. We're not going for 100% anatomy, like anatomically correct here. We're going for super stylized, your own style. And this is why I encourage you, if you see lines you wanna keep in that I don't do, you push which way you wanna push your lines. And here, the first seat, let's have it coming out more, like this. Really exaggerate it, like it's like a little banana. And now this will show you where the, where the bridge of the nose will go. So if we draw a triangle again, going in, we just pull from here, and we follow that third C. Let's really exaggerate this. This is quite stagnant, it's quite, it's quite plain, this skull. So for this, let's really exaggerate it. Be free as you can. So put it out loads, like this. And we just we flip the process to this side. Here on the right, the cheekbone's gonna come up with much more of a looser line, and come in again. And with this, I'm coming in. If you imagine it's in the box, this is coming out of the perspective, the line coming down. And then we're gonna bring that in and look at the different variation of just how you can have two different types of skull. But we're using the same principles. Base shape will have a massive impact. Throw in the three C's, different C's. And if you do do hand styles, like, so hand styles are basically graffiti form. You know, you have C's like rounded C's, then you have more squared off C's like that. Use that into your drawings. If you are a graffiti writer, that's where you will have ultimate flow because you know shapes a lot better than most. And how to break shapes. And that's what we're looking here is to break the shapes. Anyway, this here, the same as we have this shape, we're just gonna make it slimmer, exaggerate it. Put a, put a line up next to this. And then we're gonna keep that little secret I told you about, that secret little area, and shade that in. If you're colouring, you could put something cool like a green here, so it's got like the underglow, and you could also add the green in the eyes. And now we're going to exaggerate and bring this forwards from the teeth, but continuing that line. But once again, we're going to pin it so it comes steps down from here, the centre of the eye, and it comes inwards and comes out at the bottom. And you decide how much you want to pull these lines. Theoretically, I could have this going a little bit further. But you get to a point, you know yourself when you're drawing, whether you're happy with a drawing or not. You're, you're, you know yourself whether you walk away from a drawing and you're like, I feel good about that, or you just feel like I completely messed it up. My skull looks like a monkey's head. I'm just gonna quit art and get a job at Wilkinson's. You know that, you know that for a fact. So once it's in place, we do the same diamond shapes, but this time, because it's exaggerated, I'm gonna bring it a little bit lower. More little rectangles. Really shoving it in the audience face. Like so. And because you want to add a human element, let's just add some eyebrows for this. Here we just do a simple set of eyebrows. So we do a line, a zigzag line, and similar on top. And this, if you do character design, is giving it a more of an expression. And we do the same on the other side. You do your eyebrows however you have you want, you are looking angry, you'll see bring it in. That's expression, that's a different video, and that's a video you want me to make on expression. You let me know in the comment section to say, yo, so tep, make me that video. I got some expressions to practice and we'll make it happen. And now the base shape is already set you up. You can modify this too, you can make it go higher, lower, but to be honest, I like that style. It's cool. How many skulls have you seen like this? And does it look wrong? You tell me, does it look wrong? It, it looks still, it looks like it could pass. Because it's style. Once you know the rules, break all the rules. That's what I mean, learn the rules and break them. That's one thing I wish I learned was not to just copy something exact, but figure out how it was done or how the shapes go and then smash it to pieces. And then that's how you create your own style. There's not many skulls out there like this. So when you see it, it hits you straight away. Oh, that's got so much style. And then people know that's Sotep's or that's Sarah's or John's skull, that's theirs. This is why I always encourage you just to go off 
the tutorial a little bit and keep shapes keep shapes that you would want to keep um, keep compared to just following along. Now let's say for this one we didn't do a drawbone, so I might as well show you the drawbone because we're here together and the more you know, the more you glow. <laughs> so here, I'm following this line with the draw, so the draw will be connected here and bringing it down. I'm following this and here's a fun little, fun little shape is it comes in but we don't stick to this, we just end it and then another wave comes up like this. And here, I'm just gonna look to connect the bottom with that. Same as to this, exactly the same. Mirror this to the bottom. But if you imagine the box shape we put in, like this, can you see what's happening now? This line is following the top of the head. This line is the bottom of the jaw. It's further away from the audience here than it will be here. And then we just connect that up. And then add as many teeth as you want. You could put sharp teeth in, you could have clown teeth, you just, you run with it. Always follow your own instincts. That's one thing I'm trying to I'm trying to get through here. Is take a lesson and do your own thing. Here I'm actually gonna block off the back and then add it in. I follow that look, look and connect it there, leaving that. And there we have it. If you like to delve more into the character design, you could do stuff like Put the long cigarette in place. Now it's the time to add those extra things. You can even just have like a little crown coming off the top of the head. This was more storytelling elements. That's once again it's a whole new video. For today we're just focusing on the skulls. Um, and that's skull number two. And look at the variation, the two completely different skulls you have. Here I'm gonna bring that in a tiny bit, like so. And that's it, that's that's how you can start now. Doing it again, use your imagination. What's the next thing you could do? What if you start playing with a triangle shape to make a skull? What if you started to squish that initial circle so the shape's more like this? That's how you can make a thousand different skulls with the same principles. But anyway, like before, dark pencil. I'm gonna line this one up again and then let's just do another one. It. That's how you can create such dynamic and different skulls. You can have a whole skull family in your portfolio and you can keep bending it and playing it. And it just doesn't get any better than that when you can access that element of play when it comes to your drawing. It isn't serious, so relax and go with what you feel is right. So now I've just given you so much game for free. You've got the left angle in one way. How to do it in the right way, but actually just form a completely different skull. Let's see what happens if you draw it coming forward so it's facing the audience. And it's the same principle. So here we start with the base shape once again. And this can be whatever you want now. You know, you know the rules. So if you want to do a square and have it smaller at the top, do a square. But for now, just do a, a circle shape coming straight down. Because it's facing the audience, the crosshairs are now coming towards the viewer. Instead of angling it that way or this way, it's just straight across, keeping it simple. One thing you want to try and avoid when getting it facing straight on is to make it look too flat. And that is easily fixed when I show you how. Here, we're just going to draw C facing inwards. This C is a backward C, so copy and paste this over here. Now if you wanted the eyes to be more let's say um, difference, you can have expression, expression in the eye per se, you can make one smaller, you can make one bigger. And here, let's actually give them some eyes. Here, here is just some small eclipses, two small circles like this. Don't mean to make them look too depressed, but if you know my style already, you know how it gets down. So here we go, giving you extra lessons. I'm just trying to give you everything I wish I had at that early stage of trying to draw skulls, instead of just copying from a boring grey anatomy book. Oh, here's how you draw a skull, let me do it just perfectly. Take your own elements, what you find fun and what you enjoy, and really shove it into your illustration work. Here for the nose, it becomes a triangle, it's, face, it's facing on the audience. And if you want to take the C principle, where the cross line is just a C this side, long C, and that's mirrored. So all you've got to remember is base shape and the three Cs. 
and I'm ha you're just hacking, you're just hacking the system, hacking the system. <laughs> bridge nose across the bridge, connecting the two eyes, and there we have it. We're starting to build the shape up. Here is a great tip for where it comes forward: is where you have the center line here. Draw it into like a little tic tac, paddy whack, give a dog a bone, and then from there shoot triangle on each side. Don't aim to be perfect either for now. By doing that, this is what happens to your mind. Your mind can see now, okay, that's wrong. So it comes off a little bit. It comes off a little bit here, it leaves, it leaves a gap. But even though it's a mistake line, I'm gonna shade down from that, I'm taking that. My mistake, I'm making it work. And then pull back on each side, like this. And by doing so, you end up with something that looks like, like this here. And everything leads to the next element. It's just a series of events. Because now it's coming inwards, like so. Then it's going to come out. Like an hourglass, here. And do you remember all the little droplets we put in place? Guess what it's going to be? It becomes the same. You see how easy it is when you have all the secrets, all the keys? You are just placing it all together. You become the orchestra. Just playing that tune and connecting every single element. And then you can stop, once you're in place, like then you can exaggerate, like here. I'll pull it back a little bit. Let's add some holes here. That will come on the next stage. We're gonna dive into here. I'll go a bit more into that on this skull here. And then for each side, the left side, I'm following that line upwards, but then I'm bringing it in and I'm setting the stage to put the head in place. And this is where the guidance comes in good because I know it's it's the same shape, it's just a circle. Here for the front, I like to do the triangle coming down and I, I like to build this kind of shape. So teeth coming low here, and I'm exaggerating this. If you wanna, I might put some, I'll put a real skull on, this, on the screen now, and you can see how it is in real life and then how you can exaggerate it. And like I said again, you learn the rules and break the rules. So if you stick to the rules, you're just a copy of an old anatomy book you picked up at Hobbycraft, which other people picked up and they all copied. But if you learn the rules and then you throw the book in the bin and you just think to yourself, right, I'm breaking everything I just learned, you will have something so unique, no one, can, no one will know what angle you're coming at and then they'll know your style. And that's what a lot of artists struggle with, it's finding your style, but it's there. You just gotta grab it. Okay, this guy looks like he should be a tattoo. So tattoo out there, big yourselves up. From the each side, left to right, I'm just bringing it out a little bit, and then I'm just gonna box it up for now, and bring it back in. But, and the same on this side, box it up, bring it in. Probably makes it a little bit bigger, as I can see, I'm adjusting as I go. This is looking kind of zombie-ish. Let's put some, uh, let's put some cracks. There's a crack up here for the cranium, and the same for the other side, it's mirrored. This line's giving me a distortion, so if I rub that out, you see how this will look banging. Boom! And that is the basic principle, guys. This is this is how it gets built up. Here, I just put the jawbone in place. And you don't have to stick to the rules. Here, let me just bend the rules. So, where it would be straight, I'll just throw it up. It's crooked now. It's crooked. Because you can bend shapes. Don't be so stiff when you create. Loosen up, loosey goosey, baby. This looks like something out of what Left for Dead. This is looking more like a zombie, but that is what a zombie is. You can get some meat on this guy right now, yeah, and have a zombie. Maybe have it then what dribbling? Let's have a dribbling. Let's just let's just go with it. Let's just go with the flow right now. This is how you should be thinking. Like, okay, I was drawing the skull, and now I kind of wanna literally. Now you might think I wanna put a little hat on him, put a little beret on him. Let's do some, like, dribble. He's dribbling, he's, you know, he's, he's only a baby. He's, <laughs> or he's hungry or something. He's seen some flesh, he's a zombie. That's the whole cool bit of storytelling. Have fun with your creations. And that is the principles of how you can draw again. So much game for free, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, so... Play around with your sketch and trigger to a stage where you think to yourself, yes, I'm happy with that. Um, I'd normally connect these, but I'm just trying to show you guys like the joint. So you can imagine it's like a piece of Lego and you just go and click if you want it to be connected. Or you can leave like this. Well, there's like so many cool things you could do. I could draw like other bones here. Like he's got a bone opening up now. 
I'm going off the script now. I'm just going to get excited. I'm excited, so I'm starting to get a bit creative. Here he's got like two draw bones to open up. He, now he's like a mutant. Now it's like Resident Evil. But anyways, I, I digress would be the words. Grab yourself a darker pencil once again. I'm time lapsing. You want to do the same? And then let's do another one. Like I said. Three different angles that now you can work with. Understand the principle of having a base shape and then using the three C's to get everything locked in. I remember at the beginning when I was actually learning how to do skulls, I was devouring every single anatomy book on every skull on every angle. You know those books where it shows you about the measurements where it's like six centimeters across, five up? I would copy them and the skulls were so boring, bro. No movement, no fluid, no style. And that's the one one thing you really want to avoid of your art is just having boring artwork. So by playing with the shapes and seeing how creative you can get with the base shapes, you have a whole world of creativity. So just focus on the base shapes and playing. Play, man. That's how you get the funnest and most unique imagery out there. So like I've said, I'm going to show you guys one more time, but this time I'm just going to give you more of a thought process behind it as I'm moving with the skull um, and I'm going for full flow. This is what you want to try and achieve is just to let go of any restrictions you have within yourself and allow yourself just to create something. So after that one, um, I'll just explain my process and let's just, um, yeah, let's just jump straight into this and you get a clearer idea of how I'm thinking about it as I go with the basic shapes we just learned. Okay, so first, once again, let's throw it down here. This time, absolutely loose. A pencil is just on that paper. There's no idea of what shape I'm bringing forward here. Can you see? That's the same. Don't have to copy the shape exactly. I'm not trying to teach you. I'm trying to say, do what you feel's right. The crosshairs this time, more jagged. And now you start to see it build. Here with this eye. The C shape again, but here I'm kinking it down. Like this. And then once again with the same as this one. It's coming up again, really drag it in. Then I looked up at the nose bone, because this gives me an indication. Okay, here's the top of the head. And look, if I put this shade line in, I break in anatomy once again, like any art person, oh, that's not ana anatom anatomically correct. But let me just show you. Look, look at the image. When you look at the image, does it make you feel, this looks good, this, oh, this is cool, it's so stylized. Or do you look at it and go, oh, that eye is too, it's, it's two inches off there. Oh, like, that's bad art. Break that, man, screw that. F that, F that, F that. So you know yourself. Here, jack the nose out. Here, I'm gonna give him like a broken nose. Boom, never seen before. Number C, C number three. In place, curved up. Add some cracks in place, like that. And now I've got this shape. Let me see if I just moon it out like that. So now here, really forward coming out, exaggerated to absolute high heaven. And, oh, that's not anatomically correct. Oh, uh, like I said before, you're gonna break every single rule. But you have to know the rule first. There is a bit of truth behind knowing the rule first, and then we break. And you, you can be the judge of this at the end. You be the judge of it. You have your own eyes. And if it doesn't appeal to you, the style, obviously um, there's other styles out there that appeal to you and move towards that. Because you know yourself what style you want to move towards. Here you go. Luckily I studied waves, so I'm going to take this wave shape and I'm going to follow this up. And I'm actually going to put a wave here. Like that. I just put a wave shape in a skull. Broken the rules again. And what I'm trying to stress is you are a free agent here. You are completely free. Wave shapes. Let's see what happens. If you, let's see what happens when we just start, yeah. Let's just add these wave shapes. I've never done this before, but I just feel like I'm in the moment right now. I'm creating, and what will that look like? There's no right or wrong answer. As Bob Ross would say, just happy little accidents, and it's true. I'm gonna pull this out and follow the base shape we put in place. Look at the, like this is mad. This is like so much dynamic, dynamic twist to it. 
And this is what's fun, even I haven't explored a skull with this sort of base shape before. So that becomes so much more exciting. And isn't it so much more fun than just getting a book out and then measuring things out with a ruler? What the hell, what the hell's going on? You're an artist, man. Pit the reins off. Be free. <laughs> fly, my pretties, fly. And look at that, it's crazy. Like this is what I'm gonna be drawing up later for sure. This is madness. That way that tooth is coming in in perspective. Bruh, say no more, say no more. Push that in the back. He's got a head like that thing from the Power Rangers, but bruh, we work it. Take this little line in, give him like these little, Oh, shall we, let's show you put some moustache in there. Shall we put some like, human features in? Mm -hmm. Yeah, go on, here you go. Let's go and explore a little bit further. Two squares for some glasses. Some Harry Potter-esque sort of illustration now. I can throw that in, in later. When you've got colour in those glasses, you can make things pop crazy. And throw that back. Throw it back. Throw it back. Same with that side. And a story is emerging with this character. Let's give him a draw bone. I'm gonna, it's gonna be cut off by the, by the paper here. But suggestive lines can also work in your favor. What is a suggestive line? Suggestive line is a line that indicates. Like, how can I explain that? If you were drawing this, you wouldn't even have to draw completely there. You could just draw a line that ends there and then leave it like that. And it's suggestive where it connects there. That's another little trick as well. Let the line suggest the movement. Like so, put a shine mark on the head. He's got a big old head. He's got such a big head actually. Let's put some like sticky darts on his head. He could be like a babysitter, correct? Like he's a babysitter. He's got these little bright kids and they're shooting darts at his head. And now you've got a whole story there. Play with the story. Write that story on a piece of paper and build up on it. Did I think I was going to do this at the beginning? You were here with me. You know I didn't. <laughs> So now the story gets folded. What if you drew an illustration? This is going a bit crazy off the skull tutorial, but if you do the illustration work right now, you could have this skull, the kids in the background with a water pistol, the little Nerf guns like playing up, and then his skull is just like giving up on life. He's just sat on his sofa thinking, why did I do this for a job? I should have just went to art school. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm trying to say as well. A little bit extra there. Um, and yeah. And look how quick that was. And it's the same principle. I don't have to keep going over it. We, we've got it again. I'm trying to have it in. Base shape, three C's, and bend, play, move, create, and then you will have something cool. So I'm gonna time lapse this, and then you get a great indication of the of uh, where we're going. And then we just quick. I just quickly do some more skulls on repeat. So if you are really dedicated and you sat this long through, if you have sat this long as well, congratulations because the tutorials are they take time, but you're taking the time to invest in yourself. So mad props to you. I'm gonna go over it again alongside with you. So if you want to see again. It's just going into your mind and you get to see again and again. And as you do it again and again, it will become second nature, I promise you. And before you know it, if you're doing this solid for a week, you could just close your eyes, bing, bang, bong, and have a, a skull looking the way you finally want it to look. you can draw skulls at home and you can see how much more the shape has been bent out of place and how much more flow is there from taking the basic principles we've done the very first skull take the same kind of angle and bend the hell out of it you can create something that's completely unique and completely your own and if you're enjoying this type of tutorial go and check out the patreon where we have tons more of learning tutorials and resources that help you grow as an artist as well as being part of a massive community but like i said at the beginning of this video I'm not just gonna give you these skulls and leave you to it. I'm actually gonna fill up the rest of this paper under a time lapse. So you will see the repeat process again and again and again. And if you are brave and you are really willing to put the work in, come along on the journey with me and practice the formula yourself. The three key principles are the base shape first, the three C's, and then learn to bend and manipulate the whole thing. So yeah, guys, I'm putting it under time lapse and I'm just gonna fill it up with as many of those bad skulls as I can. Let's go.
and gentlemen, that is how you at home can draw a variation of different skulls. Now, if you would like to get the PDF of this original image so you can keep it, and also as a breakdown summary so you can go further and more in depth with how to break down skulls, I will leave a link in the description to a free PDF file. So make sure to grab yours, it's only gonna be here for 14 days, so grab it quick. And if there's anything else you guys would like to see, please, please let me know in the comments and let me know how you got on with this video today. I need to say a massive thank you to the Patreon team and the community. Without you, these videos would not be able to be free to the whole art world and the community. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hope you all enjoyed, keep creating, you still stay well, peace.